Hello and welcome to Woodward's Watercolours. I'm Colin Woodward and today we're going to be talking about sketchbooks. So join me in a couple of moments and I'm going to chat to you about what I think these things are best used for. I remember in 1988, my goodness, is not a long time ago, my mom said to me, son, here's a diary. It was a Boy Scouts diary. I remember it so clearly. It was green and it had those little sections. And really since 1988, I have kept a diary. I remember, I think it was 90 to 91, I didn't write a whole heap. But really since then, I have kept a daily diary, which I suppose now you would call a journal. Sketchbooks, what on earth are these things for? Some people use them to almost have like a picture book, uh, which can really be very pretty and very beautiful, but they are used for a whole host of other reasons. So what I want to share with you is what I use my sketchbook for. And I really want to also put it onto you that they're there to be used. Um, and I'm gonna tell you what I think they're about, but also, you gotta figure this out for yourself because a sketchbook for one person is gonna be different for a sketchbook for somebody else. But what I've found is that in lots of uh, disciplines and careers, shared practice is so very helpful. Today, so today I wanna share with you what I use my sketchbooks for. So I have three sketchbooks to show you and actually only one of them is complete. Is it important that they're complete? No, I, I don't actually don't think that it is. I've discovered that for me, the size that I most like is a little small sketchbook. I remember a tutor when I was doing foundation in art and design in the art college in Belfast said to me, this is where you're most comfortable, isn't it? And I thought, yeah, she's absolutely right. Why does it have to be a massive sketchbook? Why does it have to be a particular size? It actually doesn't. So I'm going to show you this one, which has had lots of different ideas and things in it. Then I'm going to show you this one, which is one of the most recent. And actually, if you've seen others of my videos, some of the images in here are going to be familiar to you. And then you've got my most recent sketchbook. This was bought, I think, by my son or my daughter at Christmas for me. And this is just begun. And I'm going to do a couple of pages and show you what I do in them. So come with me. I'm going to put my camera uh, plan view so you can have a quick glimpse into my sketchbook. So come with me and let's have a look at sketchbooks together. So this is uh, one of the little sketchbooks that I have. And I this is back from 2020. And I was playing about with doing some paintbrush studies just with plain watercolour. Um, and then I was at that stage sort of trying to discover what, you know, where, where do I fit with this pen and ink? And I actually quite like that one. It's a creamy page and this I then did, it's a little bit too clean and simple for me. And <laughs> I'm doodling myself, looking at the the uh, plant that was on the windowsill in the room. I had, this was whenever I wasn't well. And I then looked at all of the mess that was underneath the table. I was trying to do a little render of that. There's, that's supposed to be Claire and I. Claire's much more beautiful than that. Uh, that's meant to be Claire sitting. So if you can catch a flavor of this, I, I'm just trying to find my feet. And I looked at trying, you know, different things that could I do them from scratch? This is our little dog. I was actually quite pleased with that one. But people aren't great for me. I was trying to draw hugs and I was thinking how that would work. I mean, I was trying to draw Bonnie from my imagination. It just isn't working too well. We'll skip some of these because they're not wonderful. There's a little hand holding, playing about with this watercolour spilling over. Simple line drawn, trying to catch her, capture um, a bird. I think Picasso did one of the dove and it had peace and I was quite inspired by that. And... Then I started to mess about and play about with bold lines, which I really liked and getting into more scribbly, vibrant colors. And I didn't add color to this one, but I was kind of mucking about there. And then I was at that time trying to think of a name for what I was painting. So I used the stampers to put down Woodward's watercolors and it was born. I want to show you uh, just a couple of others because I use this also for notes. This is a little sketch and study of our uh, city. It's called our love seat. Um, and that was the, the fish tank at the time that was sitting in the living room and playing about with 
coloring pencils that was actually done at Stormont and just thinking about different things. This was my list of places to draw that I took down a, a simple line drawing of our continuous line drawing of the the um radiator and we had some clothes on it at the time and Isaac on the train being in Belfast together you know looking at lots and lots of different things and there's there's much more room in this one should I want to go back but I actually don't want to go back to it so I'm just going to leave it this little sketchbook for me gives you a good cross section of what I'm looking for it's this mix between a place where ideas are happening and a place for experimentation. If I go to this next one, now I have to open it so it's in the right place. As part of the course that I take in Strand Millis, um, when I'm asking people to, to look at watercolor, I ask them to be working in their sketchbooks and then to show us what they've been doing. So I was playing about with oil pastels, being nice and free, not being too focused. This is actually a, a scene of a forest. I was playing about with Posca pens, more Posca pens, a little fat robin, <laughs> another robin, and I used a different style of drawing with it, it was dry brush. And then you'll remember uh, some of the rabbits. Now I didn't do this one on um, as a video, but it kind of inspired that. And just looking at drawing lots and lots of different things, simple lines, using the stamper sometimes, drawing still life, that was one of the classes. Um, at the college that I was taking and looking at different medium of doing it. The terrible self-portraits that they're all, you know, it's okay. A line drawing that I, of the living room that I didn't actually add any color to the little studio and space using the juxtaposition of a, a word that actually informs you as to what I actually think about that little space. Experimenting with colors and a dress for a commission. The little blue tit. I love this very simple uh, sketch of a pathway in a local forest. I'm just so pleased with that. You don't often get moments like that. That page, I'd rather forget. It was messing around. But in a sketchbook, this should be the place where you feel safest. This should be the place where it doesn't matter if the pages are untidy. And if you struggle with the pages being untidy, I want to encourage you to press, just press that boundary and let it expand. That in a sketchbook, from my point of view, there needs to be some pages that you're not overly pleased with. Some of these rabbits are terrible. This more looks more like a chinchilla, I think, with the size of the ears. A little hummingbird. This is the place where I want to experiment. It's the place where I want to think, right, what will that medium do? What, what will it look like? Can I use it? Am I good at doing that? Is this something that I that I want to pursue? I tried out a friend's, um, you know, the nibs of the, there's a type of fountain pen you can get with a nib that, that presses out. More just trying different colors. This was my first time using soluble graphite. That was in a class. That was just messing around. You know, there's a, there's a little owl, another little owl, Isaac and I had a Saturday afternoon. There's the little rabbits that I did in, in the video, just playing about and jumping in when I had a few moments. More still lifes, more still lifes. I was trying these different um, watercolors that came in like a sheet and I mean, I just didn't love them so I passed them on. But I was able to try that in the sketchbook, trying to do a drawing of my daughter and then I came to this one and I thought, there it is. I quite, I quite like that one, that was soluble graphite. This one I was most pleased with. This was just a little um, continuous line trying to capture the night scenes, if you remember the video that I did of that. So there's a complete sketchbook, a place to experiment. And here's the most recent. And in this most recent one, I've just been playing about with colour and pencil and I'm quite inspired to do that. And this was colour and pencil of a cherry blossom just using some different colours. This was uh, a beach scene in Castle Rock and this one was the Irish Sea and I actually used watercolour and it was, no, it wasn't watercolour, it was tinted charcoal. And in this one it was colour and pencil and a little tinted charcoal as well. So in this sketchbook, what I want to do with you today is just these are some um, coloring pencils by Arteza, a very friendly company. I've tagged them in on a number of things and they always respond. They're just wonderful coloring pencils. If you uh, want to try a brand, then you can try these. This is the 48 pack. So you just uh, lift it out. And you can set one 
there and one on the lid and i'm just going to move that over to the side so i have a, a little a scene in front of me of um it's a little path and it's from when i was in sligo and in my sketchbook so i'm just using one color so far and i am just going to enjoy i'm not going to be too concerned even though you're here for this i'm not going to be too concerned about what i'm doing i'm just trying to capture the shapes and letting the pencil do what it does and i'm gonna so there's that little turn there and there's some lines here and there's that line of the horizon in front and then there's this telegraph pole that is going off in all these different directions now i'm just jumping in because in a sketchbook i'm not afraid to make mistakes and that's what i want to say a sketchbook in my world is best for the sketchbook is a place that you can go and you can go and try things. I'm just observing the different tones here. It's a place to be free to try something new. It's a place I love just getting the um, drawing skills warmed up by playing about. You know, even there's some branches and trees. Branches and trees can either make a, a picture or break a picture. But when I'm in my sketchbook, I'm not really too worried about that. I'm thinking, what would I like to do? What what would I feel like doing today? Have I captured this scene? If you're not here, I'm holding my thoughts captive that you're watching this because I want to demonstrate that in my sketchbook, my sketchbook is a place for me to be me. It's when nobody else is looking and I can just play about. And it's in this place, this little safe space of these pages doesn't matter that this is slightly off to the left i can actually just enjoy and figure out how it is that i actually draw what works best for me does holding the pencil in a certain way i'm moving about between cross hatching and continuous line and am i observing the colors yeah i'm sort of but i'm not being too fussy about it i want to be able to look back through the sketchbook and be inspired and when i saw in that little small sketchbook um the little stamper of Woodward's watercolors. I remember that moment. My sketchbook effectively is a diary. It is a doorway back to those moments and it is a place of experimentation. It is both a journal and it's a classroom. And that's what I want to suggest that using a sketchbook is both a journal and a classroom. It's a safe space for you to learn, to let go of you know thinking that it all has to be perfect and it has to be done in a certain way your sketchbook is the place where you get to be you and you get to be yourself and let me see i'm just trying to i'm just as i'm looking at this thinking do i want to do any more now i've just picked up the i love that these are noir i love that they're using the french words for this i'm a fan of french just before i close this off i am just taking a look and seeing okay is there anywhere where i want to i love observing the the darker kind of the darker kind of shadows just sort of always makes it jump out that a little bit more and then so actually i was going to sign it but i'm not it's a sketchbook it's a place for me to enjoy it's also a place to observe different patterns what is it that you like to draw why did you draw that? How did that come out? What do you like most about how you drew? It's a place to remember, well, in my sketchbook, I had permission to do this because this was the safe space. So actually, where would I like to upscale that or do that in a way that others then can see it? So the sketchbook for me is a place where I feel safe. The sketchbook is a place that I want to return to. The sketchbook's a place where I try things out. The sketchbook is a place where I can put ideas down if I want to do that or annotate or, you know, identify things. The sketchbook is what I make it. It's a, a doorway back to memories and it should be a place that inspires me. I hope that this video is inspiring to you. I hope that this video gives you some permission to just enjoy being in this space, this little precious, wonderful space of your sketchbook. I'm suggesting that the sketchbook is both a journal and it's a classroom. It is a diary for you to look back on your growth and the things that you have loved and to be inspired by the paintings and drawings that you have done. 
it's a place to note where you have a style that you really really enjoy and it just makes you want to jump in and do more paintings and drawings it's a place where you can make mistakes and i want to suggest that in art uh, it's very hard to define a mistake a mistake is often not actually jumping in and making that piece or doing that painting or pushing that that little bit more it's often not doing it so this is a safe place this is a place where you should want to be this is a place where you permission to do whatever you want to do whatever medium it might be so enjoy it let your sketchbook be something that is just about joy and about discovery let it be a journal back to memories and let it be a classroom to learn I hope that this has been beneficial to you. Thank you as always for taking the time to watch these videos and do like and subscribe and share. And if there's other videos that you would like to see, then please get in touch. It would be great to hear your ideas. But for now, enjoy your sketchbooks and I'll see you soon.